Hey everybody, Dr. Rob here from Abundant Life, and we're here with one of our greatest patients, <laughs> Miss Ruthlin right here. She was just giving us some information in the last day or two that I wanted her to share with you. So Ruthlin, um, can you just remember years ago, how'd you hear about the office? We actually, my husband and I were directed to a maximized living chiropractic office uh, by his nutritionist. My husband was really, really sick with a lot of inflammation and that particular nutritionist was very big on chiropractic adjustments and said he basically wouldn't take him with a, as a patient unless we found a maximized living chiropractic office to come to or max, the practice maximized living time yeah. chiropractic. Well, that's, that's awesome. It's great when we see other healthcare professionals really realizing the value of what we do here. Um, so give us an idea. It's been, it's been about how long have you been a patient? Five or six years, I guess. It's longer than it seems. Yeah. And Maybe so four. <laughs> four, five, six years. Give us an idea. What were you dealing with at that time? What was going on? Well, I was dealing with a sick husband. I was dealing with a husband that almost died because of just pure um, eating conventional foods and living a conventional life. He wasn't, he didn't do smoke, drugs, anything. He just, well, he did drink a lot of Coca-Cola. But... Anyway, he was basically um, in really, really, really bad shape. We came here, we listened to Dr. Zano's talk. I was a little dismayed when they said, we won't treat you, Mr. Black, unless you bring your family for x-rays. I'm like, I'm fine. I have nothing wrong with me. Well, guess what? <laughs> I'm the one still coming and my husband has uh, fallen off the bandwagon a little bit, but I had head forward syndrome that was picked up on x-rays on that very first x-ray and with my father having suffered uh, the last 30 years of his life with heart disease and coronary issues and I had really, really, really bad allergies all my life, it seemed like that might be the reason for some of those conditions. Gotcha. So in four, five, six years, you're still a patient here, right? Yes, I <laughs> tell people that I come into contact with it, it's kind of like going to the gym. Yeah. Or in my case, with the head forward syndrome, it's like wearing braces. You have corrections that need to be made that you've developed over a lifetime. It takes years to correct it. So I'm working on that head forward syndrome. I'm coming three times a week and trying to get that corrected. And then once I get in the right shape, I'll keep coming to stay in the right shape, to stay aligned. Great. So so years ago, you were dealing with the allergies, dealing with head forward. So how are, how are you doing now after years of care? How, how's your body healing compared to where you were? Well, the biggest thing I've noticed is that this is now the almost third year in a row that I have not taken over-the-counter allergy medicines every day of my life. It's a huge improvement. I mean, I could tell, I started reading articles and listening to Dr. Zaino talk about just over-the-counter medicines and what those do to us, and the brain fog lifted when I quit taking allergy medicine literally every morning and every night of my life. I would wake up in the morning and I would be sluggish and, you know, mentally, whatever, and now I'm so much more clear. And then, I, plus, I don't have the allergy issues. I mean, I still have some when certain things blow in, right. but it's not a daily battle. Yep. It's been great. Sounds like you're getting your life back. Yes. Sounds like getting back to you. Guys, we just, whenever we hear these stories, we want our awesome patients to, to let you know that, you know, it's not us. I'm not a miracle worker here. This is, this is her. This is your body. Exactly right. It's her body and how good your body can function when we find a problem and remove it and your body can heal the way that it's supposed to. So anybody out there that doesn't know about our office, doesn't know about corrective care, Chiropractic, what would you tell people that don't know about us? Oh, I would tell them to at least come in and get x-rays, listen to the talk, understand the ramifications of pressure on your nerves, and then start getting adjusted. I mean, it's, it's a lifesaver for so many people, and for everybody. I mean, it, it really needs to be the first step of any medical treatment, not conventional medicine. That's right. I didn't say it, she did. You heard it from her. <laughs> Very much against a, it. I'm going to start calling this Dr. Ruthlin right here. So, guys, we'd love to see you in the office. If you, somebody you know, is dealing with these type of things, we'd love to help you out or find somebody uh, in your area. So, we'll see you soon, and God bless. Thank you.